Hi, I am gonna do a quick makeup tutorial for you guys. This is gonna be a much more entailed demo for you guys, so it won't be just like a quick five minute makeup thing. So um, I've already washed my face and then I'm just gonna scrub my lip. I have the Arvon Vanilla Bean Lip Scrub. I find that to be a really important step when I'm doing my makeup, especially when I get to my lips. So I always like to start off with that scrub. It's a great product, highly recommend. So I've already prepped my skin with my RE99 and my Leafy Lip Gel. And I'm gonna start off with our makeup primer, this guy right here. And it's just one cup. And you're gonna see it's gonna help mattify my skin and help with those pores. It's like liquid soap for your skin. I just concentrate on my T-zone and cheek area. So, you see that took a lot of the shine out. You wanna make sure you don't work this product too much, it can fall up. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my Perfecting Liquid. Um, this is our liquid foundation. Right here, I use the color Soft Blush. If you feel like you need to be colored matched, go ahead and reach out to me. It can generally help pretty well with that. So I like to use a brush to put my, um, my foundation on after I kind of dab it around a little bit on my skin. You could also use a brush. This is the Arbonne's brushes. So you could dab it on like this. Personally, just like to use my hands, and this is not an Arbonne brush, but it is my favorite. It would be um, a blender ball, those kind of products. So this guy right here, this is the brand. It is a vegan um, bristled brand. So, And then I'm just going to work in small circles working this product on my face. So this is Arbonne's, this is their medium to full coverage. Arbonne doesn't have a true full coverage and it's because we really wanna just work on having beautiful skin in this makeup to just be enhancing. So um, this is our liquid foundation. It gives me just the amount of coverage I need personally. So just worked that in, working it upwards. So now, um, as you can see, I have a couple challenge spots on my skin currently on my jawline. Um, been going through a little bit of stress and it is showing on my skin for the first time in like three years. So um, the world is a crazy place right now. So I'm just gonna dab that on and I'm just gonna use my brush. This is um, Fair, which I, for some reason, ordered this shade, not the shade I usually order. So it's gonna be a little light. It's okay though, we're gonna fix it. Okay. So that is our concealer. It works really well for me. I like that it doesn't crease. You can also use it to do a really beautiful cut crease as well. So now that I've got my base on, which is my um, primer, and then I put my actual base on, and then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of um, contouring. Just some tips and tricks here. I'm going to want to brighten underneath my eye. So I'm going to use like a little triangle to just kind of change the point to which... Um, my your eye is going to go to so i'm going to do it in two different shades so you can kind of see the effect tan's going to have a little bit of more warmth to it and this is going to have a little bit more lightness you can see the different effects of concealers have here and then i am going to go in with my brush here and brush this in so this one's not going to give me quite as much of a bright look but it's going to help cancel out some of those redder pigments that i have under my eye area so there's one side this side however is going to give me a much more brightened look so it kind of just depends on what your like main goal is. So you can see the difference. Okay. So I've concealed under my eye. And I really love that this product doesn't go into my fine lines and cause like cakiness. So um, there's that. And then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of contouring with my personal favorite product. When this came out, it was my first, my first Christmas with Arvon. And they've repackaged it. So this is our Starlight Glow Palette. Ooh la la, so pretty. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring with it. Um, this is my go-to for it. I really like working with it. There are some other options that I can share with you, but this is my favorite. So I'm going to go in with Twilight, our darkest shade. And I'm going to go on my jawline here. And anywhere we want to make look smaller, we're going to put dark. So it's going to look terrifying for a minute here. So I want to make my neck look skinnier. Who doesn't want that? 
make sure you always work back behind your ear. There's that. And then I'm going to go in with Meteor and I'm going to um, add a little bit of color here in my cheek. And I'm going to use upward strokes. And like I said, it's going to look terrifying here for a second. I always find that doing videos is extra challenging for me. So bear with me here. So I'm going to create kind of a little bit of an E effect on my face. And you'll be able to see it here in a second. So spots that I want to make look smaller on my face. And then I'm going to drag this down around through my hairline. So on my forehead and then down and around. Going kind of extreme so you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. Because if I just go lightly, you won't be able to see it nearly as well. So this is my scary minimizing contouring to make my forehead look smaller. Uh, make my skin, look, my face look skinnier. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit more here. All right, so now that I've put that on, I'm going to go back in with a blending brush um, or just a powder brush. It seems to work really well for me, this guy here. Oh, it's an Arbonne powder brush. And what I love about Arbonne's Glow Palette is how easy it is to work in. It is so blendable. So I'm just going to blend all of this out. <laughs> we don't want any lines and always work really well into your hairline because you won't be fooling anybody if you don't so I'm just gonna work that in really well so as you can see not nearly as scary maybe took off a couple pounds <laughs> all right so that is my very light simple version of contouring okay now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do a little bit of color in my cheeks um my favorite go-to color for our blush is our dusty rose I love this color it is a matte. We do have shimmers and mattes. Um, so, excuse me, this one does have a little bit of shimmer, but it's not the shimmeriest one. I don't really love shimmer. And I always like to go off of the corner of my eye here and apply my brush and work in an upward swoop. You'll find that the Arbon blushes are really buildable. So you can have just a pop of color or you can really go crazy and add some really deep cheeks if that's what you like. So there's a little bit of blush. Um, I always like to go back in with my powder brush just to work things and melt it all together. And then I always take whatever is left on the bottom of my brush and run it through the center of my face because, um, I don't know if you ever have noticed, but we end up having this like muzzle look. So we always want to add a little bit of color so we don't have nothing here and everything here. So we want to add and bring it in a little bit closer to the center of our face. So there's my blush and my contouring. And then um, I'll post an actual eyebrow tutorial, or I did already, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do one here really quick. I'm just going to use, this is our Shape It Up brow. It has this little spoolie on one side to help you move your hairs up. And then I'm just going to use the other side, which is the pencil side, and I'm going to be looking for those spots. So I'm going to go here, and then the high point, and then end my brow here. Then we always want to work in kind of upward motions, really light strokes. Like you're, if you were coloring a picture, you probably learned this in like elementary school to do grass. So kind of think of it as grass on your brows. So, And then I'm going to do a little bit of a stronger line underneath, just because that's my personal preference. You can do this however you would like. but. And then um, down here, I'm going to kind of start working in like a little bit of like a C-shaping grass. So it's going to kind of roll down like this. A lot of people ask me, do I need to do my brows? Yes, you need to do your brows because as you can see, <laughs> one side, no brow. Um, brows really frame our faces out. So then I'm just going to take this spoolie and run it through to move that around a little bit more. This is the color medium. I've also been known to use the dark, just kind of depending on the look I'm going for. Um, the light is way too light for me, personally. So just looking for that spot right here. And then I'm going to build up underneath a little bit. And looking for my high point. And then pulling it back and then down around again. This is kind of, I tell people, this is my stinker brow. It doesn't doesn't cooperate quite as well as the other one does but so there's me with brows um wow what a difference right so brows are definitely something you want to be doing they frame your face just just 
Um, they'll feel like caterpillars at first and seem really big too, but I just promise they'll look 100% natural to everybody else. Okay, so um, now really quick, I'm going to just do a really quick eyeshadow for you. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and use, because I've kind of got earthy tones on today, I'm going to go ahead and use, this is volume one. Um, first and foremost, I didn't grab my makeup primer. One moment. Okay, so first I'm going to put um, eyeshadow primer on. You'll probably have seen the post about that. So this is our primer. And I'm going to dab it on my eyelid. What's really important about primer is it's going to help um, your color pop it's gonna help it stay longer and it's gonna help keep it where you want it to be and just blend that on I'm just using a um, blending brush so now that I've got that on I'm ready to play with my eyeshadow so I'm gonna start with a base color I'm gonna use the color fog <laughs> that's this lightest color right here and I'm just gonna sweep it over my whole eyelid just to get everything even and ready to go. Okay, so that's fun. And I'm gonna do just kind of a quick version of a halo eye. I'm probably just gonna do one eye so I keep this pretty short for you. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color on the outside of my eye and work towards the lightest in the middle. Um, I'm gonna start with this dark brown here, Cypress is what it's called, this one down here. And I'm just gonna come in on both sides of my eye and just do a little bit of dark. This is another one of those things that's gonna look rather crazy at first. So I'm just tapping it in to the corners of my eyes. And bring it in a little bit. So that is really scary looking as always. And then I'm gonna kind of work on an angle up here, um, across here. What I kind of like about this palette is you can create color families by going across. So I'm going to use the next color I'm going to use is called Amber. And I'm going to fill in a little bit more. So you just want to start with your darkest color and then pick a color that's a little bit lighter, saving the center for our lightest color. So there's that. <laughs> and then um, the last color I'm going to use is called Sand. And I'm gonna, I'm really packing this in pretty strong right now. That's okay, because we're gonna blend it out, okay? So there's that. And then I'm gonna take my same shading brush, is what this is called, and I'm gonna um, have a wet towel here. And I'm just gonna start pulling it across my crease area. Work it back and forth, okay? And then I'm gonna work it upwards just a little bit. Just to start blending out this color a bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my actual, this is my um, overall eye brush right here. And I'm gonna start working it back and forth around my eyelid, just to kind of blend it up a little bit. You'll see that Arbonne's eyeshadows are super forgiving. So if you're just starting to dabble in makeup, I think this is a great product to start with because it is so blendable. So um, as you can see, I've started with the dark on the outside and then I got this nice light spot in the middle. So that's a very basic halo eye and I'm just kind of slowly pulling it up onto my brow bone. Not a lot of color on my brow bone, so very light. And then because I still have it, um, <clears throat> we're going to use some of the holiday line from this last year. It is still available to my knowledge, we can always check on that. We have this color, it's called Celestial. It's a very beautiful highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my um, shading brush again, and I'm gonna put it right here in the very middle of my eye. So I probably have my cousin watching and she's going, Carolyn, you don't like glitter. This is like the one exception to shimmer that I like. So that adds that nice shimmer there in the center. I'll post a photo so you guys can see it even better. And then I'm going to go underneath my brow bone and just highlight that a little bit. And then pull it up. So there's one eye. I'll go back and do the other one and post a picture. Okay, so then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put on my mascara. So I like to put my mascara on before my eyeliner um, for a couple of reasons because of my mess up. 
it'll be okay. Um, so this is our um, Speaks Volume Mascara. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, little tip, um, you don't want to pump your wand back and forth. It can break it down. Instead, we just want to pull it out. And then we're going to go in here, and I'm going to start working at the very base of my lash line and pull it up. So... So there's one coat. Um, I always start at the bottom and work my way out, and then I'm gonna start pulling them up and out. So this is a mascara that's very buildable. I also love how much curl and volume and separation it can give your lashes. So there's my um, second application, and then my third one, I always like to take my mascara wand and work it up and out this way just to pull my lashes out a little bit more, pull out those little guys, especially here on the corner. I really like a nice winged lash. So there is my mascara, and then I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna show you guys liquid eyeliner on a video. Okay, so this is our liquid eyeliner. This is Arbor. Um, I have never really been an eyeliner girl, but Arbon has changed my mind. So um, I always just like to start out with this little bit of color and you're going to want to have your eyelid open. So there's my little start line. I'm just kind of imagining drawing the line from the corner of my eye up to the corner of my brow. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to slowly start grinding them. So I'm just going to do a really light demi wing for you guys. Nothing too crazy because we don't want to mess this up. And then I'm just going to kind of expand on it. So that is my quick version of a winged eye. Nothing crazy. Um, so I'll go back there and do the other side of my face. But this is a halo eye. Super easy to complete. And this is me without any on my eyes. So makes a big difference. And, and last but not least, I'm going to follow up with some setting spray. Arbonne also has a setting powder. I'm a setting spray girl. Um, setting spray is like um, hairspray for your face. So this is it. This is called Let It Sit. And it's going to help set your makeup to your skin so it doesn't move around and make it last longer. What I love is that throughout the day you could go through and refresh your makeup as well. So um, this is my quick look. Uh, maybe add some lipstick. I am going to add just a little bit of, this is the Vanilla Sav. And that's my glam look. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this wasn't too long for you guys. And have a great day.